Alrighty, I'm back out as usual. Well, I'm back out every day, all day. But uh, I got a pretty nice hit here along this fence. Um, I moved, I pushed this gate back a little bit. It opens here, and where the gate would have normally been, probably didn't detect. I got a nice repeating 80s signal in here. There's a bunch of shit in the ground, but there's something right here. I wanted to show you what it's ringing up. And we'll see what this is. 79 to 83, probably a penny, but we'll get it out of here. Show you here in a minute. All right, I'm back. I, uh, um, let me show you here real quick. I got a coin here, but there was several pieces of this old, I think this is copper wiring down in here and there was some other junk and I got it off all all that cleaned out and then I got a better hit this was ringing up mid 80s and it's a, looks like a pretty oh look at the detail on that wheat scent it's a nice one let me see if I can't get a date off of it here real quick for you no I can't get real excited about this but I'll have to probably clean it up later. I'm getting old. 1940 something. Alrighty. You see this sand layer here and the fire rock coming out. There's pieces of it all cracked up like I talk about in my other videos. Um, I found this place yesterday while I was mow detecting. Never looked here before. But I found flint chips in this. Um, in this stuff right here. Yesterday. And we're going to take some sifting screens here. Because this looks awesome. There's flint in it. We're going to do some screens. I'll get it loaded up. and We'll see what's here. It looks pretty promising. So I'll get back after my first screen and I'll show it to you and we'll see if we can't find some artifacts. I would say there's stuff laying right here. I found seven or eight flakes of flint just in this yesterday, so looks promising. I'll get back at you later. All right, here's the first screen off this. Real nice piece of like Coshocton looking flint and another broken river pebble. But you can see all of this exploded fire rock. All of its fragments. It's all been exploded. It's all red. It's Indian because there's flint in it. I don't see any artifacts, but I'm gonna find something here. This is like a good spot, it's undug. There's not much digging here. There's any like a fire hearth coming out, so I'd say 45 minutes I'll have it looked. This is the kind of stuff you wanna look for. Classic fire rock with flint in it. So I'll get back on my finds today and as always, thanks for watching the videos and good luck hunting. Well, I was right for coming here. See the breaking up fire rock. And hopefully you can see what's laying in this screen. Cracked up. Red. Flake of real high quality flint. Heck, yeah, that's just a flake. But man, that's nice stuff. Real translucent. But, this is just looking great. It's a paleo point for sure. It's a stemmed lance. And it, it's got one little nick on the edge, but it's ancient. And it's definitely Nelly Chert. Oh man. Folks, this is a 9,000 plus year old point. Late paleo period. It's a stemmed Ohio lance. By God, look at that. Um, you can see even down, there's fire rock coming out in this spot. All in here, you can see it. Bam, bam, bam. All the way down. You can see it by the water here. It's leached out of this place right here, and I've never looked here. There's not much sifting to do, though. It's just like it's in little pockets. We'll walk down, well the water's still up so I don't even think I can 
get down in that area um i'm gonna look around here as long as i can and see if i can't find anything else you can see right in here is where i scooped it up there's still broken up fire rock lint here's another piece but i'm having the last screen didn't have as much in it there's not much here i think under this piece here there's a you see the rock there but holy shit that's nice it's got one little nick there on the edge but that's definitely nelly chert there isn't any doubt whoa this is a good one that's a month maker that's really nice i found other ones made out of the same material on the river but not for a good while and they're always random oh wow well i'll get back i'm gonna look real good in here i didn't bring gloves and you know the water's cold i forgot them at the house didn't even think to bring them so i'm sticking my hands in the water sifting and it's cold i'm gonna probably stay for like 45 minutes but man this is a good point it's a shame it's got that little neck but that's old you can see it right there but it's an old neck and this is almost all there this is a good piece it's got that little stem base on it it's got grinding here in the sides well it got grinding up to about right there this is a good one this will be the point of the month for sure later all right um i'm back and i got something else that looks phenomenal and right here is a piece of river pebble that's cracked up you can see what i got laying here it almost looks like the same shit right here is another little tiny flake of flint all this breaking up fire rock and look at this this is probably a paleo point too it's got a basal strike right there a thinning strike on the base and you can see how it's ground in there but it's it's just got a light stem on the other side and man this is a river pebble and it's one of the green ones with the oh man and this i'm taking this because you can see this is right around the same fire hearth they had a fire going here right there and you can see right here's more fire rock all back up in here is where I reach and I got this one I've done several screens here since this last uh, since the first uh, Lance point uh, maybe three or four and then this so I'm gonna scrape around here some more and see if I can't find anything else it's getting pretty you know I had this mounded up to here and this is all the rock and stuff that was in it right here but this is all exploded and it's Indian all of it and this right here looks like that same material it's probably the piece off the river pebble that they threw down that they spawned this point off of that's unbelievable well i'm having a good day i'll probably dig here till i start not seeing any flint and fire rock in the screen which isn't going to be long there's not much here you run into a lot of places like this to where there's just one little fire pit and then it erodes out and then it's gone that looks like more flint right there maybe no but there was several flakes in this and a point so i gotta keep going a little bit longer later well i got a pretty good looking screen here with broken up fire rock but i got a marble i'm in along the waterway so you know stuff's been dumped down over i've been finding modern glass and right there's a that's some kind of a roofing uh, piece here but that's a pretty nice marble um, it's not a bad one thought I'd show that for you marble guys um, I've went probably six or seven screens since the last uh, paleo point I, there, there's Indian material in here this is all out of a campfire but I'm not finding much flint and I had this mounded over and this is all the stuff that was in all the dirt you know, you can randomly screen some of this stuff, but it's not concentrated enough. You could spend all day here, maybe for one tool, and, you know, I, I don't really want to do that today. 
All right, I'm back. Um, I've walked probably a mile and a half to just a minefield of multi-floor and locust trees and the water's up, so I gotta walk through the woods basically at the base of the bank and it sucks. But right here, you can see the same principle, all this fire rock coming out. Um, and because these trees are in here, it's holding this stuff in. You can see it laying in here. These roots are what does it. Look at that pile of it right there. That's all Indian. And it's below a high bank. This bank's high. Getting down in on the water, I'd say this is, there's even another flat above. I'd say it's 20 foot. The stuff's coming out right in here. So what's, what's happened on these places on streams and rivers? That flood, the river comes up and lays down sediment. So if an Indian camp was here, it got covered and it's preserved perfectly. It was never plowed, nothing. So everything that's here is perfectly preserved until it washes out of the bank. And then that's when it can start getting damaged. But see, this is right out of a thousands of year old Indian fire. Um, eight to 9,000 years old on this place. There's no Fort Ancient stuff or woodland stuff here. It's all early archaic on this stretch of the river. You can see it here, all coming out. There'd be airheads associated in with this. It's not a sandy us lake. It's coming into some clay and that stuff's hard to sift. And I'm beat, no more sifting for me. I got three, three pieces and a pocket full of flint. Um, I found a flake knife earlier. I might shave that at the end, but I'm going mow detecting now. Um, after I go eat lunch, so um, got my hands all cut up from malta floor, and I got briars all in me right there. I'm gonna have to go and pick him out. Um, see, I'm all bloody. Malta floor stuff's rough, um, but it was worth going through this today. Um, cut my damn hip waders too here someplace. Yeah, right here. Cut them on malta floor that's up high, so. At least I'm not getting wet, but I'm gonna have to buy new hip waders. It's, this was rough today. You can see all this stuff's just got briars all over it and it's catching me. I got a big one on my face. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe I'll find something with a mow detector. I haven't been finding much the last couple days. I dug all cans yesterday. But hopefully I can find a coin or something today or something cool. Later. I wear a 13 shoe, so you can see how big that is. And I actually think these hip waders are 13 and a half. So, you look at that. Heck, just up to the end there. Huh, if anybody knows what kind of bird that is, put it in the comments. See the feathers here. It's pretty gross, I'm not taking nothing off of it. That's awfully cool though, it's too bad. Poor old boy got smoked. See how big them bones are too. That's crazy. Well, later. Hope you enjoy this one. All right. Um, where I found these points earlier in that flint and that little fire hearth, it petered out. There's nothing else there to be had. Not today anyway. Um, I'm walking way, I'm about a mile down the shoreline. And you can see all this fire rock coming out here. Right here's a piece of cracked up river pebble and that's, an Indians had that. Um, you can see all the fire hearth coming out on this slant. And a good spot to look is in these uh, roots. These will get exposed and they will hold the stuff in like you would not believe. And if you want to sift here, you're gonna have to cut these out with the, uh, let me see here, with these that I showed into how to find arrowheads on rivers. You can see, it takes a while. You get a little spot cleared off where you find points and then scoop the stuff out. And this would be a good spot to do that. But I've got something down here sticking out. I don't know what it is. You can see all of this stuff's come down. You can see it even down in here by the river. It, red fire rock right here, just classic. It's right out of an Indian campfire, thousands of years old. And this site is old. It's eight, well, eight to 9,000 
something years old the point tapes that are coming out are that old so right here's another little place this stuff got hung up in here otherwise it would have been washed out further and unfindable but right here it looks like a tip of a point to me might be a knife or something but let's see what this is show it here real quick um, yep it's a good one it's a good one Oh, this is a knife. It's definitely a knife. And I find like Palmer and Amos points here. This is, and they made half to chaff scrapers and I would guess this is what this is. I have ones that are more curved, but this is a shaft scraper. And it looks like Coshocton Flint, but this is a river pebble. See, you can see some of them aren't uniface on the back side. This doesn't have much working on the back side. And then it's got this knife edge. And that was hafted into like a little bone and used as a knife. This is nice. And it's all there. It is all there. And it's ground. Oh yeah, this is nice. Man, I'm having a good day. You know, when you're looking places like this, this has never been farmed. All the stuff that's coming out is packed in sand and you're getting it just how it was left. The only chance of it getting broken is if you have a gravel beach in front of it, which we do not here. It's sand even out, clear out into the water. Um, what happens is when you get a lot of heavy boat traffic, if there's a gravel beach, the waves come up and roll the stuff around in the gravels and bust it up but luckily this place does not have gravels exposed man look at the edge work on that all the way up around man I like this that's a nice tool all right I'll get back at you I'm still walking so maybe I'll find something else later